Welcome to Universe. Oh, trees. Darn it. There's the new hotel that they're working on. Still can't see that stuff back there for maybe the water park. We're with Kyle and Mary and Jess and Jen. Hey. And we're at Universe Hall. Yeah. And the Cabana Bay Bridge is open now oh, for you to walk across. But uh, we can't park at Cabana Bay because it costs money to park there. So maybe we'll walk back from the park. Look at that construction over there too with the crane. And I know you guys keep telling us what it is, but uh, it's still a mystery really what it is. <laughs> We're not really 100% sure what it's gonna be. So uh, just keep on telling us what it is. Look, these people, they're using the, the pathway. They're walking, Look they're gonna take the bridge. Yeah, oh, pedestrians, the woo! There's a, a cat too. I'd like to make my formal complaint to Universal. We pulled down, drove like everybody else to the end here, drove all the way down that aisle, and there weren't any spots left. So what they do, they didn't say, oh, we'll get you a spot. They said, no, just go around again. So we had to walk, drive all the way around again, and then come back here to this spot. What the heck? Don't you guys like count out before sending people down the aisle? No, there was like three or four cars that had to do this. Are you guys ready to see some bright sunshiny stuff here? We're gonna, they're, why are, they're playing this song again. Please. I don't understand. It's like America the Beautiful for whatever reason and City Walk, but we're gonna eat a cowfish tonight. Not quite yet though. I think we're gonna go ride a uh, Rip Ride Rocket, maybe. We'll see. It makes sense now because it's a Coke commercial. That's why they're playing America the Beautiful. Just kidding, I didn't know what the plan was. We're gonna check the weight at Cowfish first and then maybe go into the park after dinner. Which seems like a bad idea to me because we're gonna be able, like eat a giant meal and then like go ride a roller coaster. What's the worst that could happen, right? All right, let's do it really quick. All right, Nemo, put a, put a paintbrush on him, put a, a gift on top of his head and he has, he has some ice cream. Some ice cream on it. Oh no, he ate the ice cream. Okay, let's get some facial items. He gets a mustache, because that makes sense. He's got glasses. Give him a mustache. I can't. Well, John, can you do it? It's on his eyeball. Oh, that's that makes sense. What else? Okay, he gets this. I think it's. I'm gonna give it. Make it that it's an eye patch. Oh, he won an award. Okay, send him to the aquarium. No, no, no. Why? Yes. I'm so bad. I can't. I'm Bye. Not, oh no, I can't. You were, we're touching it at the same time, and now it's broken. All right, it's oh, that's good. It's, send, it, it send him to the fish tank. Send him to the fish tank. Yep, <laughs> just like that. All right, <laughs> he's dead. We're up here on the top story of cowfish, and it's going to be delicious. Look at this view. Look at it. Got the old town brown. Yeah, look at how pretty Hogwarts is. So nice. Look at the Hulk with the sunset behind it. Yes, he got the chocolate shake. Look at that. Look at this giant straw. It's like you're gonna have bobas or anything. I specifically asked for a table on the second floor because of this. Like, look at these sunsets. Real quick, check out this sunset over Islands of Adventure right now. It is crazy. And then we go to the other window, and what do we see? Uh, Diagon Alley. I know it's kind of hard to tell what it is, but this little light right there is the dragon for Diagon Alley. Also, look at all these people down in City Walk. That's fun. But for Christmas, they have uh, like snowflakes projected out in City Walk. But they have the fountain turned off because it's too cold. This is the cowfish has left the building. This is bacon, banana, peanut butter, full pound. <laughs> so good. What did you get? This is Doug's roll this and is the boss roll. What did you get? That's the rise and shine. The rise and shine, which has an egg on it, right? And ham. And ham. Ham and bacon. What, is, what do we got? I got two things in a jerry and a, a roll. What do you have? I don't the know. black and blue burger? No. Maybe? Orsine cheese. Or looks like bison, but it's not. Oh. No, it's B-O-U-R-S-I-N. -O -I, I don't know. It looks delicious though, for sure. Yes. Let's eat. I just I like just looked at this burger and I'm like, this is a full pound of meat. And I don't know where to start. I rolled up my sleeves and I'm like, all right, let's do this. This is Doug's roll. This is a uh, filet with lobster in the center, I think. And um, fish eggs on the top? I don't know. Still not my thing. Look at how big this thing is. <laughs> you failed. <laughs> How's the peanut butter? I haven't even gotten any peanut butter. All I got was banana. No, oh, cry about it. I don't know. Not me, though. You know what it is? A beautiful day. <laughs> oh my goodness. What happened to my burger? That was a full pound of beef. Clean plate club. Woo! My goal every time that we eat a cowfish is to try to look out and watch the dragon fire 
because it happens quite often. It happens like once every 15 minutes, but I feel like I'm never gonna see it. Unless we're sitting right here and I'm just like staring out the window at the dragon. They told us that the best view was out here on the patio of Hogwarts Castle, but at sunset, but it's not, it's not happening right now. Whoa, it's like really warm right here. They got heaters going. This is awesome. We should have eaten right here. Dave Matthews singing to us and everything. How nice. I feel like I'm sitting underneath the dragon. Look at these funny lights. Hey, Jen. Jen, come here, real quick. Stand stand right there in that corner. Tell me how you feel. Warm. <laughs> it's awesome, isn't it? This, these heaters are great. This universe is glow at the show stuff. Say something, I'm giving up on you. Maybe we should tank over there. Yeah, if we were just skanking, by the way. In case you guys didn't know, this one. <laughs> there it is. All right. What better way to celebrate finishing a full pound burger cover with peanut butter and banana and bacon than riding Rip Ride Rocket? Why not? Everybody's leaving. I feel like there's still time left. It's like 30 minutes left. Hey, look, they sell minion stockings. That's kind of fun. And like minion Christmas stuff. Minion ornaments. Are these minion Christmas lights? That's fun. Everything a minion. Everything. This is the best. Oh, it's, it's for your stocking to hang it without putting a nail in. This is pretty fun. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Oh, this one. Kind of Christmassy, I guess. Oh yeah, he's wearing like a Christmas sweater. They're giving each other gifts. Oh, that's a snowman. They have like Minion brand Peeps, which is weird, and uh, gingerbread guys and chocolate mousse. It's kind of a little bit strange. There are so much Minion stuff everywhere. All of the Minion stuff everywhere. And then Transmorphers. You guys remember that book from Harry Potter? Yes. That, that the, like the bites at yeah, you? Yeah. That's what this looks like, but just more fluffy. It's this thing. Yeah, it's all fluffy. You want a shot glass, but you would like to remain uh, dignified. So you have a little tiny shot glass that you can hold with your pinky up. We are on our way to ride the Rip Ride Rocket and we ran into Jordan and Sophie. Where, Where are you guys from? from? Uh, UK, Midlands. Oh, cool, okay. Yeah, what do you guys like so far? Gringotts. Yeah, Gringotts is so good. Best ride ever, right? I wish we had time to ride it tonight. I don't think we'll have time. Right? Oh, okay. oh no. Well, it's a very complex we the, ride. We did the launch like backwards. Oh, yeah. That sounds like so fun. Well, it was very nice to meet you guys. Bye. Right? We're gonna ride the Rip Ride Rocket, but they're like they've been cutting down on loose items on there, so I have to take everything off, wallet, keys, everything, leave it with a non-rider, and uh, I don't know. I'm sorry I can't film it for you guys, but that's the way it goes. I cannot wait. This is gonna be fun after my giant full pound burger. Oh yeah, see he's like barking, telling us that we cannot have anything. The entrance to the free locker. I feel like that should be a challenge, is like go to Cowfish, eat the hunk of burning love, or the hunk of hunk of burger, or the Cowfish left the building, whatever you want to call it, that big burger that I just ate, and then go ride the Rip Red Rocket. Sounds kind of awesome. Bumblebee! You know that we've heard rumors is that that's a uh, Bill from Bill and Ted's? Yeah. We're cinematic spectacular, cinematic spectacular. We thought maybe we would like stop into the Christmas store right at the end of the night. Uh, it's looking like we're not going to. This place looks like it's been closed for like hours. I don't even understand. What time is this store open at? Is it ever, is it ever open? They finally got rid of the, uh, the purge truck and now it's just this um, old Pontiac or whatever that was here before. Let's see, is it a Buick? Is it a Pontiac? Is it a Buick? Is it a Pontiac? Is it a Chevy? It is a Chevy. Okay. I do like how Universal looks at night when there's nobody in it. It's pretty awesome. Also, I really cannot wait for the Christmas parade, dude. Macy's parade. Oh, Christmas time at the parks. Yeah, I like Halloween better, but still, Christmas time's pretty fun. We gonna miss you, Twister. Not that we know that Twister's leaving or anything, but rumor has it, rumor has it that Twister's gonna leave and something else will be there. What do you guys think should go there? I like how the pictures on top of the Shrek ride are faded, so they look super dramatic. Like, look at Shrek and Fiona here, all black and white, super dramatic. Donkey, way faded. Can't even tell that it's a donkey anymore, but I like it. I feel like this is the grand finale here as we're leaving. Lots of fireworks going off for Cinematic Spectacular. Let's see. Big one? No? Uh, maybe it was just the war scene. So a Walking Dead shirt, Walking Dead phone cases. Anything else? Anything else? Oh, here's these weird leather bracelets. And, uh, oh, one Horror Nights shirt. 
That's it. That's all they have left. What size is it? Extra small. All right. Tiny. Let's get on the Starstruck. Go over to Royal Pacific and check out the new oh, walkway to um, oh, Cabana Bay. Can we sit here? No, I think that's the captain's. Oh, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Are you allowed to? I don't think we Why not? Nobody's okay. stopping us. I'm doing it. This is awesome. It's so pretty. Who's rich enough to fly their plane into here? <laughs> like a glove. <laughs> We're here at, what is this, Royal Pacific. Well, you guys remember when we came here last time, right? Pretty fun. Oh, that lady kind of scared me a little bit. So we're trying to find the pedestrian bridge, but we don't really know where we're supposed to be going. Let's see if we can find it. See if we can figure it out. Still don't really understand why they have gift shops at hotels, but they do. We've pretty much taken to turning any hotel into our own. So this is our hotel now. We own this. Look at how nice it is. So this is the crest for the Royal Pacific, but what? Why are there two R's? Now you guys know what I do for a living. I work for Intech. Frogs, there's frogs everywhere. So many frogs. We walked out the front door and we're like, I don't know, how do we get to the pedestrian walkway? So we're like, oh, there's an archway. And then we're like, oh, there's a set of stairs over here. Where do the stairs go? Nowhere. We're on the stairs to nowhere. Now we're just in a parking lot. They're certainly making it hard to get out of this hotel. We followed the sidewalk and ended up in a parking lot. Oh yeah, this pedestrian walkway is looking so nice. All right, so there's the street out there. If we went to the right, that's the way to City Walk. If we go to the left, that's where Cabana Bay is. What? Oh, you see what happened was if you go right, they loop you back around and you head this way. But if you go left, you go down underneath and then you go back that way to the park. So it's it's like a figure eight. It's like getting on one of those weird entrances on ramps for the interstate where you get off on the left, but you really go right. Uh, we came down through the bushes and now we're like next to the water here. There's a snake. Probably not supposed to be here, but we're here now. There's the bridge. I don't know if you guys can see very much of the water. Started from the sidewalk, now we're here. Yeah. We definitely got on this walkway a lot further back than I thought we did, because this is where we were coming out of. Like, that's the hotel that we went to. <laughs> but we came out, like, way the heck back there somewhere. What's going on? We haven't actually made it anywhere yet. This is the Twilight Zone. We got on this walkway, and we walked to the same hotel that we got on the walkway at. If it were daytime, you guys would get a lovely view of the construction site for the new hotel. It's yonder. Kaya was remarking on the fact that there's like this spot of grass right here. And there's no other grass anywhere along here. It's all trees and bushes and stuff like that. And I said, oh, there's like electrical stubbed up here. So I'm thinking that this will be the walkway entrance to the new hotel over there. I think that's what's gonna happen. That's my professional opinion is that this is where the entrance to that hotel will be on the walkway. See what they have it labeled as. This is the mini power zone, bro. Welcome to the mini power zone. Here you go. There's not very much light out there, but... Oh, somebody's doing the slingshot. Are they? Oh, yeah. this is the new site for the new hotel. Sapphire Falls. As a direct result of all this landscaping, we need a lot of water. Oh no, this one's broken. That's not good, brand new. It's leaking water everywhere. And they really are not gonna be able to hide anything on this new hotel that they're building. What We're on the pedestrian walkway oh. bridge. Okay. Over top of, there's been so long that we've been waiting to walk on this thing, seeing it, the construction. Yeah. And there's that other construction over yonder. I know everything's just dark now. It's like we waited until 9 o'clock at night to show you guys this bridge. But here it is. This is the uh, handicap ramp. ADA says for every one foot it goes down, it has to go like three feet out or something like that. So that's why it's so long. But yeah, it's very nice up here. And there's Cabana Bay. Look at it. Cabana Bay. There's like a ton of views of the new construction here. It's too dark for you guys to see it. But yeah, look at that. There's our bridge. Cool. And were there any trolls living underneath here? What if there are? Oh no, a troll! What's that? There's like a hook there. I wonder what the hook's for. Did you guys bring your keys to Cabana Bay? I used to have a key in my purse, actually. I think I can, I, I think I away. might be able to get that with a credit card. I didn't even realize that, that you can, like all of the other hotels, there's no gates. There's a gate on this one. This is the, this is the economy hotel. Very strange. What do you guys think these things are? They look like antennas or something. Welcome to Cabana Bay, a brand new hotel. But this one palm tree didn't make it. Sorry, palm tree. We gotta cut you down. Yo, for real, little mannequin girl, what's up with your head size? It's so small. Also, put some more clothes on, youngin. We were just walking around uh, the oh, Cabana Bay and we ran into Aaron. Hello. And Aaron wanted to say, to say hi to Lou, who's no, upstairs in bed. I wanted to say hi to Lou because she's upstairs asleep and she didn't get to come down. You snooze, you lose, right? <laughs> Lou, I, I, I see what you did there. It's like a little rhyming game. <laughs> well, we missed you, and we're sorry that we missed you. But yeah. hey, how's it going? <laughs> I hope you're enjoying Orlando. 
Welcome to Cabana Bay. <laughs> I'm gonna go up the stairs here because there's a bowling alley up the stairs right there, Galaxy Bowl. Let's have a look see at it. It's open until midnight, like a late night bowling alley. Oh, and there's the game Arama. Should we get a sweet Cabana Bay bowling shirt? Heck yeah, a bowling shirt bowling shirt. Like this thing, that would be awesome. This is kind of awesome. I want this really bad. Here's the bowling alley. They're watching Enter the Dragon or something. Oh no, it's a, a Jeep commercial. All right. Oh, look at the fun lights on all the pins and stuff. That's pretty fun. But this is, it's a fun bowling alley. There's Jack Lane's fitness studio. It's kind of a fun thing. I don't even know if you guys can read it yet. There you go. Anybody in there? There's like a couple of people working out. Let's go in there. Do they do like fitness things in here? Like a Jack Lane all like standing there. Oh yeah, all kinds of like Jack Lane stuff. I like how there's a statue of him that he's standing next to, but the statue is way bigger than him. He's like teaching you how to be fitnessy. Oh, he's got them sweaty pits in this picture. They're like showing a Jack Lane fitness video back there. It's kind of awesome. Here's the Bay Liner. This is just another place to eat. Oh wait, this is where we came? No, we didn't come here. Did we? I don't know, I'm so lost right now. It is, but we came in on that side of the room and went across and then we can go out right here and see all these cars. Like this Impala right here. Yeah, it's a good looking car. I like it. And this Imperial, it's also a good looking car. Does it say something about it here? 61 Impala. It's pretty nice. It's gonna get ruined real quick though. I like how they have actually um, like license plated some of these, like this one. It's kind of ridiculous that this Imperial uh, is just kind of here because it's kind of a rare car. Oh, since uh, we stayed here, they put roofs over top of the bus stops. Unlike they were before, it was just one umbrella for opening night of Horror Nights, pouring down rain. Ah, prior planning. You could sit down right here on this bench <laughs> this is the best view of ever oh another planning thing oh we'll put a cover over top of the bus stop but not over top of the benches if it's raining you don't get to use the benches sorry guys yeah the wall is making weird noises next to me it's like a creaky noise no it's like <laughs> the wall listen listen no standees I call no takesies backsies. But Jen and Jesse automatically turn into like 12 year old girls when there's nobody on the moving walkways. You ready to race them? They're actually going kind of fast. <laughs> this is hard. This it's is actually it's actually quite easy for me. I'm just like walking fast. You're almost there. You lost. We are finally back home after our super long day at Universal, but it was a delicious, fun, and exciting day. Adventurous day. So we're gonna watch Walking Dead now and go to sleep because we gotta take our money to the vet one more time tomorrow morning. So we're gonna go to bed and I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.